spray thus far, but like. gonna die you're gonna die so Victor is it if I can find whatever hole you crawled out of maybe I'll find some answers yes Synchrony injected Strain level decreased. Gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him like that. Okay. I guess. Reinforced skeleton. Hydraulic joints. Victims never had a chance. His claws match the cuts on the victims. This is definitely our man. Exposed wiring. The one thing you don't want breaking your fall. Yeah. Body shorted out the generator. To get this door open, I gotta restore power. Oh, of course, of course I do. Yeah, Roarmonger, I don't think uh, OSHA is a thing in the future. Um, listen, I'm not an expert by any means, um, but I definitely just based on what I've seen so far, it's definitely non existent. simple We did something. Oh, did I have the... They 
had to be in speci uh, a, a very specific order, apparently. God forbid. I think we're just good to go back up. You're right. I mean, really, honestly, that's on me. Francois, why don't you have an electrical engineering degree? Also, frankly, uh, why isn't that just as easy as actual electrical engineering? Um, okay, well, power's still not on. I still didn't fix it. Love that. It does say big offline. We have any idea how these fuses are supposed to work or Oh, apparently I just straight up missed something. The fuse is busted. I need to find a spare. Reeds. I guess we just get to I guess we just get to try fuses until until we get the right one. This is a fun and engaging gameplay for sure. Like if this was not like it feels like we're firing up. 
awfully far into the game for, like, weird puzzles like this. You know what I mean? Let's get out of here. <laughs> like this this it definitely feels like we're in the like the end game. This feels like a mid game sort of quirky little puzzle. Or like anything. Even if there had been a puzzle that was like that, that was like, oh, this is like a real, this is like a harder version of that. <sighs> um, surprisingly, not so much, Warmonger. As odd as that is, and I know that's a very peculiar thing. Uh,. <laughs> Electrical, uh, electrical in the U.S. is just a little bit different, that's why. Um. Right, I do have dark vision. Yeah, not, well, I'm, I'm glad it all makes sense now. Ooh. Where I fucking came from. Put that thing back where it belongs or so help me. I mean to do that? Okay. What I mean is, was I meant to do that? Not, did I mean to do that? Um. If all that's at the end of this tunnel is a fucking card, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that... That does seem like pretty basic stuff, you know? Very, very Canadian in nature. What a place. Hard to believe anyone could live here. A splicer, a lunatic, and a junkie. Perfect combo. All right, you're one to fucking be a judgmental asshole. I mean, he's an he's obviously a murderer, but he came to me again, the man from the looking glass. His voice is soothing, like leaves rustling. Understands the only one who cares. He made me see what I was lacking, what I must do, but what he's asking. Am I strong enough? Of course I am. That's the coward Victor talking again. Enough talk. Ugly human words hurt my throat. I can barely get them out anymore. It's time to act. Normal, very cool and normal. No. Oh, God. 
No. This can't be happening. It's not really fucking happening. Dad? Dad? Are you there? What kind of a sick game is this? Dad, I'm still alive. The head. Don't connect to it. Adam? Adam, are you there? I need your help. There's a place. It's called Sanctuary. Adam. Adam. Just try to... Try to call me back. God damn it. not gonna plug into the head because that seems like bad fucking news so did Adam like upload his fucking consciousness or some shit is that what we're is that what we're dealing with know what I even bothered not expecting jump scares all the time at this point. This game would probably be like a lot higher on my on my list if it weren't for like the absurd number of jump scares. It's not like Five Nights at Freddy's, but it feels like it really leans into it. Right? Like, they could have dropped the jump scares by, like, a third. And it still would have been This would have been a blast to play and still scary. It's not the controls. It's <laughs> oh boy. Um, no, no. Um, oh, 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 oh. You, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not a setting. Um, like in Mortuary Assistant. Mortuary Assistant is nothing but jump scares. Like this game, at least has like a really in-depth story. So it, this game is still like a solid eight, eight and a half out of ten for me. Um, probably closer to an eight. 
Um, but yeah, mortuary assistant. Um, nothing has been more disappointing to me than that game. There are a few games, honestly, and this is going to be wild to say out loud. I would play Resident Evil 6 again before I play Mortuary Assistant again. I would, because at least Resident Evil 6 is technically a game. Um, You know, not all of the campaigns are super fun, but at least a couple of them are, you know? And it... it, it yeah. It, it just... Mortuary Assistant is nothing. It's a jump scare simulator. Um... Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. Daniel Lazowski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. This seems fine. This seems fine and normal and cool and good and not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Okay. See, oh. Now I'm kind of curious what Bane chose to do. Cuz I feel like I feel like if you like plug in to Adam's head, like it's a very like different situation. So now I'm I'm interested to see what Bane did. Uh yeah, yeah. He was the one who uh this is a Bane certified banger, if you will. <laughs> Yes. I know it's hard to believe after all you've seen, but I need you to trust me on this. We don't have much time. I saw a literal word. What about the body I found? It's it's complicated. What you found wasn't me. Not anymore. But I'm here right now, and I need your help. If you're my son, prove it. How would I do that? Just try. Tell me something only we would know. Mountain hunting. Yeah, they're they're hunting mountains. What? When I was a child, they'd sometimes wake me up before dawn, and right. go down to the river and watch the sunrise together, looking for that small to clear just enough that we could see the mountains. Well, it never happened, of course. But we kept trying, didn't we? You were hiding here in the stacks. Yes. I terminated my project and hid where they wouldn't look for me. In time, I found people who were willing to help me. I managed to retrieve most of my data and carry on with my research. What were you working on? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm to exist long past your physical body. Beyond limitations. Beyond sickness and death. Beyond being human. Just to keep existing. Sounds like a living nightmare. You haven't changed, have you? I knew you wouldn't understand. But you will. Soon. I promise. Helena saved your research and smuggled it out of cart. Killed. Yes, and I'm 
Amir do? It wasn't a part of the plan, but I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgery? What was his angle? Yeah, Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. Actually, I think he wanted to be me. I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. He doesn't. That's why we didn't see him coming. He was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. When did you become this digital ghost? When the splicer came for me, I had to improvise. I managed to get out before it was too late. Hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. But they could. They came after me with a virus. A hunter-killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. If I could bust out of the building's internal network, I might be able to outrun it. So we need to lift the damn lockdown. Huh? The source of the signal is well protected. It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which leaves us only one option. A manual override. That's where you come in. Where does the signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I've narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. The more you struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me, once you get out, follow the light. This game is a fucking trip. I can see why Bane enjoyed it so much. I'm... I'm also enjoying it. I'm a little confused, but... You know. Perpetual state of being. I guess. Okay, is that not the exit? Is this the exit? No. Okay, I think we're making progress. God, hidden me. Good. I'm glad this, that wasn't like an actual puzzle. That'd have been. Uh... I'd have been pretty fucking confused. Love that, love that.
Yeah, for sure. Beethoven's Ninth Unfinished Symphony. From scratch. Fucking figure it out. Nerd. I don't even know if the Ninth Symphony has any organ in it. I'm just... Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Official police business. People in capsules. They've locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. I'll do what I can. If you can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father has gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Thank you. You've always been such a good boy. What did you say? If I can, if I can... If I can finish it, then we'll put some organ in there. It probably won't work, but... are still symptom free for now we need to cut our losses i'm not losing all my subjects out of some misguided sense of empathy um I, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't even know if Daniel Lazarski knows what's going on. Keep going, you little rat. Keep going. We're making progress. We love that. We love that.
teleport. Fucking tell me twice. <laughs> right? Oh boy. Despise it. Absolutely fucking hate it. Oh, and now we're. I don't love that this is as fast as I can walk. 
not digging that. Fucking organ in the background. Hammering away. No, no big issues there. At least somebody can play it. Daniel's just taking a nap. He's been asleep the whole time. It's all a dream. Have been a misunderstanding. I was told you decided not to undergo the augmentation procedure. Yes. Just to be clear, you do realize that that drastically decreases your chances of recovery. I, I made my decision. Thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. You can do this. I know you can. I'll be there for you. Something tells me, um, she didn't make it. You owe me this much. Promise me. You'll take care of him, whatever it takes. That night you and mom argued, after you left, mom was very sad. I asked her what was wrong and she said the doctors could cure her, but she wasn't sure if she wanted them to. It's not that simple. What the doctors wanted to do, there was a heavy price to be paid. She wouldn't be herself. She wouldn't be your mom anymore. That's not what I'm asking. I want to know, did mom decide for herself? Did she really want this? No, obviously not. She did. No. She was My forced. I believed she was strong enough to beat this thing on her own. I did too. But she wasn't. I just wanted her to be all right. Why didn't you save her? <laughs> it should have been you. Very weak. Please make this brief. Dad, it's it's pretty bad. They need to replace a few parts. You 
You're such a fucking hypocrite, and you don't even see it. I thought I was right. Didn't know anybody. Still on principle when it was my life on the line. But when it comes to saving yourself, you're pragmatic all of a sudden? I had to take care of you. I made a promise to her. No, you don't get to use her as an excuse. crazy that I've walked on a endless cyberspace walkway today it's not too you know two two times isn't a lot but wild that it happened twice that the virus won't be able to penetrate. Let's say I let you in. Then what? Oh, it's amazing. Our minds will merge. Merge? Yeah. It might sound weird, but our minds kind of hook up. We plug into each other. Sorry, you lost me. You are losing it. Your sanity's hanging by a thread, Dad. But I can help you regain control of your senses. We can help each other. I can't trust you anymore. You lied. Have it your way. It's still up to you. Save us both. Leave me to die and go on with this fever dream of existence. Either way, since tonight, I'm growing weaker by the second. Soon, I won't be able to maintain a connection. Kill 
dozens. Iteration after iteration laid to waste in pursuit of his grand design. Why should one more make a difference? You're fucking unreal. He was my son. I am your son. So what if he had the real body? You're clinging to a version of me that hated you. As if that was all that made him. Me. Your son. Why? Why did you kill him? I had no choice. Kill or be killed. The virus. Adam said it was. He figured out how dangerous you are. Maybe. Maybe he realized he had succeeded. He created the superior version of himself. And it terrified him. So what the hell makes him better? He was driven by hatred. Obsessed with the idea of not becoming me. He never came to understand. But I did. Just help me out, man. You're losing me. We're all freaks of nature, Dad. Your choices, your mistakes, they were all unavoidable. You can't blame us for what we are. The splicer was breathing down my neck. You sent him. Appreciate it. And these men were supposed to go after you. The drugs, the paranoia took over. After that, I'm full on fair. The mind is not the toy. Ironic. Coming from an observer. Why did the others have to die? I couldn't let any word of this reach Kyle. I would stop at nothing to track me down. Way to cover your eyes. They give you what you did. But you know the corporation. They would claim this gift for themselves. I want to share it with the world. I regret what I had to do. But it was necessary evil. I'm tired. Let's get this over with. for your cooperation. Hey, you. Look down. I know, Janus. It's been taken care of. Called uh, your people. Should be here in a minute. Thank you. I'll take over from here. You can get back to your post. a slight glitch. I'll take care of it. Ah, little ones. <laughs> Worse. Always spell tra tra trouble. Don't I know it? The sun will come up soon. We'll get to see it together again. No worries. We'll get used to this. We have all the time in the world. So Chiron, so at the end of Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Arasaka uh, dissolves, becomes Chiron. Chiron 
introduces the nanophage, kills a bunch of people, creates the observers, and then uses Soul Killer, uh, tries to rebuild Soul Killer. Adam found the research, used Soul Killer to separate and, and create uh, engrams of his own mind, and one of those engrams became sentient and killed him, and then we have the start to this game. That is canonically the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, and you cannot convince me otherwise, all right? <laughs> Wild. Wild. Um, really, really an interesting game. I... I don't want to have to play the whole thing again to get to the... to, to see the other ending. Um... But, very, very solid game. Very solid game. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I'm kind of um, disappointed that this game didn't get the hype that Layers of Fear did. Because, to me... This game seems way cooler. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I didn't, I, I've never played Layers of Fear. I know there's multiple endings for Layers of Fear, but, um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But I know the, uh, the more recent uh, uh, Layers of Fear, they, like, remade it or something. Uh, or was a remaster, rather. Um, and it was not super well received. So. I don't really know what that's about, but. I liked it. This was, like I said, um, I, I would say a solid eight and a half. I would give this game a solid eight and a half. Um, if, if the jump scares had... Uh, been a little bit more chill I would probably have given it like a 9 but they really they leaned into the, the jump scares there um, so I'm not a huge fan of that but generally speaking uh, the story is excellent the voice acting is excellent the characters are good um, the music is solid um The, the worst thing, probably navigating the map, to be honest. I feel like the hotel was um, kind of samey, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. There was a lot of, like, um, there's a lot of areas that didn't make any sense to me. Like, like not didn't make any sense, but there was just... A lot of 